Welcome back. What started as a small music studio in Rock Island is still a small music studio, but it's also become a worldwide brand, revered in the music industry among both musicians and executives alike. And tonight we're taking you on a special behind the scenes tour into the world of Day Trotter. <laughs> In the midst of the Midwest, in the middle of the Quad Cities. All right, give yeah, us boy. give us a good word, man. I think we're ready. Is what's become a mecca of modern day music. A small studio, no sign out front, that's brought in some of the most acclaimed bands and musicians from all around the world. You know, they come up the stairs, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Most everybody doesn't really know, you know. It's sort of a known quantity now, but you still don't know what you're getting yourself into. For nearly nine years now, one after another after another. The great bands that come through here, it's it's just an honor and a pleasure to be asked to do this, so we're really excited. They come to record, and after essentially laying down four songs in two hours, they leave town without anyone knowing they were here to begin with. Like listening out there, I could hear the banjo, you know, so okay. that's a good thing. Sure. What did you think? I thought it sounded pretty good, but you know. Welcome to Day Trotter, what started as a bit of a day dream for Quad City native Sean Moeller. And the whole idea that I had in my head was like, it'd be great to have a record store, it'd be great to have like bands pass through play like at noon time, you know, kids could like come over during their lunch breaks. Swap the record store for a website where Day Trotter posts its iconic sessions for the world to hear. Almost 4,900 and counting from now well-known acts. I mean, you know, the Lumineers and uh, Vampire Weekend and the National and, you know, it, it kind of goes on and on. It, you know, it's like I could, it's a long list. That Add some relative unknowns like Tallgrass, in town from Colorado, a newer band on the upswing. Yeah, you're so blind. For us, it was a really big deal. Like our our booking agent had been sending them emails and stuff, and we ended up getting someone who knew somebody to send another email for us, and, and it ended up working out. And uh, yeah, we were really excited, and uh, yeah, it was a really good day for us. As a day at Day Trotter could lead to so much more. With 20,000 listeners and readers worldwide every single day, Moeller pens reviews, that's what this has become. The music industry's chance these days at getting a shot. This is a, a fantastic opportunity to, um, to get ourselves in front of as many people as we can because now in the digital age, Everything's just zipping all over the place. Everyone's still just kind of looking for that leg up. They're looking for somebody to like help them a little bit, even if it's just a little bit to get to that next thing. Since its beginning, Day Trotter's been expanding. Now with studio time in San Francisco, Austin, Texas, Nashville, and London, England, to name a few. And Moeller's been expanding here too. Every Monday night at Rock Island's Roz Talks, his Moeller Mondays feature a surprise act. And in the non-winter months, there's a barn north of the Quad Cities, a place called Codfish Hollow, where Moeller and friends have put together concert events where fans can bring a picnic basket and get in for virtually the price of a movie. We've done some really memorable things out there, and whether it was my doing or, or not, I think it's one of the best places to see a, a show in, in the world. You know, I, think, I think anybody that kind of goes there, and it sounds crazy to say, you know, the, that it's in Maquoketa, Iowa. It's absolute, honest to God truth. I mean, I think anybody that goes there is blown away. And Moeller, a husband and father of four young kids, is quick to point out, None of this would have been possible anywhere but the Quad Cities. As much as people really can't believe it, I, this is kind of the best place for me to ever do this. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, uh, I grew up here, so I never really wanted to live anywhere else. We're so close to so many places that it makes it really, really easy to pull this off here. 
And it's so cheap to do here that, you know, I just, I can't imagine doing it anywhere else. Vans pull in off the road and get right back on it, traveling from point A to point B with a stop in Rock Island in between. What did you guys think? That was sweet. Cool, that was pretty good. Like I As for Day Trotter's future, that brief stop in the Quad Cities will soon be extended if and when Moeller has his way. It's already on everybody's map as far as like coming here for a promotional opportunity. I don't want it to be on everybody's map to like, of course we're playing a show in Davenport or Rock Island. Of course, no doubt about it. An ongoing story written with the lyrics of thousands of songs just up the stairs from the street below. And if you're interested, it's $32 a year to subscribe to Dave Trotter and be able to stream or download all that music. But tonight, the man, the myth, the legend, Sean Moeller is here himself with a bit of a little surprise Valentine's Day announcement. Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we want everyone in the Quad Cities to enjoy Day Trotter, and so for ever. Um, we want to be in every earbud and every Beats by Dre, so uh, Day Trotter is free for anybody that lives in the Quad Cities. There you go, and we've got Sean's email so address posted with the story right now at WQAD.com. Instructions on how to do that, so forget spending 32 bucks for the year. It's on Sean and his staff over at Day Trotter. Thanks, buddy. Good to You're see welcome. you. Keep Thank up the you. good work, Sean. We'll be right back.